For a long time, aerial combat required spotting the opposing side first, with little more than the human eye. Then, in World War II, radar would change the very fabric of aerial combat, providing aircraft with a general idea of where the enemy was. Eventually, this radar would be fitted to aircraft themselves, giving them real-time data on aircraft in their vicinity. However, in the Vietnam War, the more rudimentary technology required pilots to fly right up close to what they would detect, eliminating the advantage they held with their long-range missiles. This too would eventually change, with more advanced radars being capable of establishing not only the location, but also more information such as size, with sentry platforms like AWACS giving a large picture, pushing aerial conflict into predominantly beyond visual range. What this meant was if you were detected first and easily tracked, you were at a massive disadvantage. To combat this, in 1983, an aircraft was secretly brought into operational capability, the F-117, featuring a groundbreaking technology that would be a defining requirement in future aerial warfare. This technology was stealth. It all began in 1964, when a Soviet mathematician published his seminal work, Method of Edge Waves in the Physical Theory of Diffraction. This groundbreaking research described a pivotal discovery about how radar technology functioned. His findings opened a new realm of possibilities for aircraft manufacturers worldwide. Suddenly, the prospect of engineering even large aircraft to evade radar detection for critical reconnaissance missions became a tantalizing prospect. As the 1970s progressed, the US government recognized an escalating need for fighter aircraft capable of avoiding radar detection. This urgency stemmed primarily from the fact that Soviet radar and anti-aircraft technology were rapidly advancing. In response to this growing challenge, Lockheed Skunk Works, renowned for its cutting edge innovations, was entrusted with top secret black operation known as Have Blue. The journey was not without its setbacks. Multiple prototypes faced challenges and disappointments. However, perseverance and ingenuity prevailed. In 1981, the culmination of these efforts materialized in a milestone in aviation history, the birth of the F-117 Nighthawk. This aircraft stood as a testament to human ingenuity and determination, redefining the possibilities of military aviation. The F-117's sleek, angular design and advanced composite materials allowed it to navigate through enemy skies with a near-mystical ability to evade radar detection. With the F-117, a new era in military aviation was ushered in. Stealth technology, once a theoretical concept, now stood as a tangible reality, forever altering the dynamics of modern warfare. The legacy of Yufimtsev's pioneering work endures in every stealth aircraft that graces the skies, a testament to the profound impact that a single mathematical breakthrough can have on the course of human innovation. So, we know the history, it's time to answer the real question. What is stealth? In essence, stealth is simply the act of making an aircraft harder to see, detect and track, not only to radar, but to other sensors such as infrared or electro-optical. In the pursuit of making an aircraft less detectable by radar, a combination of careful design, material selection and technology is employed. The main goal is to reduce the aircraft's radar cross-section and minimise its visibility to enemy radar systems. With the importance of how radar systems are in stealth applications, it's therefore important to understand how radar works briefly before understanding how stealth works. Radar, which stands for radio detection and ranging by the way, operates on the principle of sending out electromagnetic waves, specifically radio waves, from a transmitter. These waves travel through the air at the speed of light. When these waves encounter an object, such as an aircraft, 
a portion of that energy is reflected back towards the radar system. This is known as the echo. The radar system has a receiver that picks up these returning signals. The radar system then measures two important aspects of that returning signal. Time delay, by measuring the time it takes for the signal to return, the radar can calculate the distance to the object. Since the speed of light is constant, the time delay directly relates to the distance from the receiver to the aircraft. The second aspect is the Doppler shift. This refers to the change in frequency of the returning signal compared to the transmitted signal. When an object is moving, the frequency of the returning signal is slightly different due to the Doppler effect. The Doppler effect is the apparent change in the frequency of a wave caused by the relative motion between the source of the wave and the observer. This is most commonly understood with sound waves. When a truck blasting its horn goes past you, there is a noticeable change in that noise. The tone changes as it goes by. This is due to the increased frequency of waves in front of the object's path compared to behind it. This allows the radar to determine if the object is approaching or moving away and at what speed. This is the very technology the police tend to use in speed radars. By continuously emitting and receiving signals, radar systems can track the movement of objects within their range. This information is then processed by the radar system software to create a display showing the location, distance, direction and speed of detected objects. This display is typically seen by radar operators who can then interpret the information for situational awareness. If you reduce the radar return, you can make this much, much harder for the operators to detect your aircraft. So with that in mind, how do you actually make an aircraft a stealth aircraft? Let's explore the key principles and methods used to achieve this stealthy characteristic to avoid detection and tracking. First, the aircraft's shape is crucial. Instead of smooth curves, it's designed with flat angular surfaces. Such aircraft need as few angles as possible in their shaping to minimize radar reflection. Unlike curved surfaces that can scatter radar waves in various directions like a disco ball, flat facets with fewer angles are far more effective in redirecting radar waves away from the source. This reduces the likelihood of radar waves happening to return straight back to the radar system, making the aircraft less detectable. In essence, simple angles and edges help to minimize the direct reflection of radar waves back to the source, enhancing the aircraft's stealth capabilities. Whereas a disco ball will almost certainly reflect light at you from any angle. A flat single mirror will only do so if you are at the correct angle to receive the light reflection. This is why the F-117 looks so strange. Additionally, edges are designed with sawtooth patterns to further disrupt radar waves. It's important to note that the sawtooth design aims for controlled scattering rather than dispersing the radar waves wildly in all directions. The sawtooth pattern is carefully engineered to break up the reflection of radar waves, ultimately reducing the aircraft's detectability. This means that while scattering radar waves might seem counterintuitive, the specific arrangement of the sawtooth pattern is designed to enhance stealth by redirecting radar waves away from the source in a controlled and strategic manner incorporating uniform angles to further reduce the aircraft's radar cross-section. Stealth goes much deeper than just shape, however. Special materials are also used. Radar absorbent materials, RAM for short, are coatings and composites that absorb and disperse radar energy, making the aircraft less reflective. If changing the shape of a mirror can help make it harder to see a reflection, picture this as dulling that mirror so the light reflects less effectively. The specific blend of materials and elements to create this coating is often a very closely guarded secret. One key challenge with this is long-term maintainability, but as time goes on, more effective long-lasting variants are being produced. As well as this, composite materials like fiberglass, carbon fiber, and special polymers are used in the construction of the aircraft. These materials have a lower radar reflectivity compared to traditional metals. However, the true construction is often classified. Internally, the aircraft's weapons are stored in dedicated internal bays. 
This keeps the external profile clean and reduces the radar cross-section compared to carrying weapons externally. The engine design is also important. Cooling the exhaust gases helps reduce the infrared signature. Some engines also have nozzles that can change their shape to further reduce detection, as well as the use of serpentine air intakes to avoid the fan blades of the engine spiking the aircraft's radar cross-section. Alternatively, radar blockers can be placed in legacy-designed air intakes, but these are not as effective as completely concealed fan blades. All this work greatly reduces the ability of an aircraft to be detected. However, it can all be spoiled by external munitions and external fuel tanks which are often designed without stealth in mind and can make the aircraft much more visible on radar than you may expect. Due to this, it's important to utilise internal weapons bays that while reducing ammunition load, do make it possible for an aircraft to perform in much more dangerous environments. This is in fact a notable flaw on the KF-21 which only seems to carry weapons externally. This avoidance of external lapses in stealth is often shown with other features such as conformal antennas which are flush with the aircraft's surface. This minimises protrusions that could increase radar reflections. Creating an aircraft that can perform multiple roles without compromising itself is a challenge that requires careful consideration and technical skill, but it has much reward. That's how stealth is implemented, but why are militaries in the world chasing this technology? There's a misunderstanding that stealth aircraft are designed with a confident intention of being entirely invisible, but this is not the case. Stealth in practice means that the aforementioned sensors cannot detect the aircraft until it is much closer than a non-stealth aircraft. An F-35, for example, can get much closer to an enemy radar before it is detected than, say, an F-16. What this means for a military with dominance in stealth isn't that aircraft losses are completely impossible, but instead will be greatly reduced. If your aircraft can now carry anti-radar missiles, to engage enemy air defences while having the stealth to get close enough to engage said system before that system can detect the aircraft, you're going into that fight with the upper hand. For example, if an S-400 system is able to engage targets at 400 kilometres away and an aircraft's anti-radar missiles only have a range of 100 kilometres, then making that aircraft so it cannot be detected until it's within 50 kilometres is crucial in deciding the outcome of that standoff. Even then, it's often mistaken that there are some special radars that make stealth redundant, as they are more capable of detecting these aircraft, and this is longer wavelength radars. But the issue with these is that they provide little more than a general location and are not very effective at tracking aircraft in the means that allow a missile to launch to eliminate the threat, making the implementation of stealth technology no less of a great idea, as it still makes an aircraft much more of a potent weapon than not. The truth is, like many impressive advancements in warfare, stealth is not the wonder weapon, but simply another evolution in military technology that provides enough benefits to warrant using, even with the added cost. Not only does stealth make ground attack missions against hostile integrated air defence much more viable, it also helps against other aircraft. An F-22, for example, is much harder to detect and track in a beyond visual range engagement than an F-15. And if one aircraft can detect and engage the other sooner, you can see how this brings a huge advantage to the skies and makes 4th gen aircraft much more vulnerable. In all, stealth is becoming an important factor in the aircraft of both today and tomorrow. Nations which struggle to field this technology in the correct manner are inevitably going to lose their competitive edge. Which is why essentially every new fighter, bomber and drone in the world is being designed with stealth in mind. What's your favourite stealth aircraft and why? Let me know in the comments below and if you liked the video, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel as only 6% of my viewers actually do. So make sure you hit that button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss my next video. Thank you for watching, I've been Kubota and I'll see you next time.